What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth. Now five, as Franco Iberia. In the first part, we uh, settled on this hostile planet and we saw that there were a lot of resources in every direction, which is pretty cool. And we just got done making a trade depot. Our next order of business will be to, um, so we could get a trade convoy going, which is pretty good. Or just go with a colonist and, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the colonist. I want I want a next city. I think it's about time we did that. Uh, let's see. Any way to get more production? Nope. All right. I hope this is not a mistake, but I just want to get... Uh, also, there's a siege worm here right now, which is, I believe, one of the scariest um, aliens available in the game. And you basically... Even if you attack with your city, that will do very little damage. So, try to keep the siege worm on your side. I don't even know how to do that. I honestly don't know how aliens work. So, this should be interesting. Um, also, as I explained in the first part, I have no idea what's going on. I've barely played this game. I was not given a chance to play it early. So, I am completely lost. Um, so, with that in mind, do not expect amazing gameplay from me. And that'll be all. Uh, let's see. Repair facility, a combat rover. Uh, what is that? Reveals the signal and allows the decode signal project to be constructed Sounds pretty cool. I think I'll go with ecology Because there's the vivarium which gives you extra food uh, miasmic repulsor Which is sort of a an orbital unit which we'll get into later But it will clear miasma from a bunch of tiles and you can make an ultrasonic fence Which prevents alien units from approaching within two tiles of this city and also it leads to alien biology, which allows you to actually clear the miasma. Your workers are immune to it. It's all pretty good. So ecology is my next choice for show. All right, next turn. Now we're just waiting for that colonist. Um, I don't want to like... Your explorer has noticed something strange. All right. Don't be rude. Okay. Um, so here you go. That's You're probably talking about the crashed satellite. I already knew about that. All right, 30 science, gifts from home, done. Uh, so we get another bunch of science. That was just a whole bunch of science we just got because we went from like 16 turns to five. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so, okay, we've got 19 science. Uh, completed the quest for which we get another 30 science. And right now, covert ops. I don't understand anything about covert ops yet. I haven't gotten to that part of the game. Um, so that could be terrible. Um, we'll see. Found an outpost. We are working on that. Worm killing. I traded my life for my lag when I met the great worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the earth drinker. I hunt the worm. Get one siege worm. I'm not even sure, but that sounds like a reference to Moby Dick. Which is cool. I like references. So, that's good. Anyway, we're trying to get a, an outpost going. And we will most likely settle somewhere in the north. Um, although that remains to be seen. Alright, aliens detected. Yeah, I, gee, I noticed them. They are right there. They're pretty creepy looking. Because look at that. There's a lot of creepy stuff on this planet. I'm not really sure why someone would expect otherwise. Also, I'm pretty sure we are playing on a Pangea type map, which is cool. Because uh, I was planning on doing that anyway, but I didn't get to pick my... Uh, my planet, I believe. Usually, you sort of get a choice between three randomly generated planets, and I don't believe that showed up when I set up the game, so I must have done something wrong there. Anyway. Yep. Earn extra culture equal to 30% of net positive health. See, that wouldn't be that much. Um, I do like cohesive values. Creative class, not that much. Uh, applied aesthetics, pretty okay. There's just a lot of good options out there. I'll just start with a laboratory apprenticeship, which gives me a bunch of extra science. Yes, I will take you. Because you're good. Alright, 12 more turns for the colonist. Obviously, this will take quite a while. Again, I have no option right now to uh, improve my production. Except maybe get a trade route going, but I'm not really sure if that works or how that works, so... Another resource pod, okay. 
With the depot now built, we've been able to amass an adequate surplus of resources. The question is, what do we do with our abundance of goods? Do we send it to our factories or allow our merchants freedom to trade with it? All right, that's a little quest decision. I have to say I really like this. It's extremely different from uh, the way things worked in Civ V, because I'm pretty sure there were like no decisions there. Um, maybe, no, just there were no decisions at all, really. Um, so now you really get to sort of customize, if that's the right word, your, uh, okay. Customize your sieve, which is pretty cool. Um, so I can use them to get one extra energy from trade depots, or depots, really, de depots, or uh, production. Right now, I am leaning towards production, although I'm not earning any energy. And I guess earning energy from, which is basically money, from trade depots doesn't make sense. So I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I would like to earn at least some energy. That would be very, very welcome. So let's do it. Okay, who's this? This is player number five arrives. Citadella. Oh boy. Brasilia. Yep, so that guy is the classic military type. We got 15 culture for free. I like it. Thank you. Um, so you have to be careful around that, that guy. Let's see, where did he go? Alright, we got Ecology. No. You got, no? Shut up. Alright, so they're very far away. If anything, the, um, the Slavic Federation would be in trouble before me. At least I hope so. I just hope that guy leaves me alone. That would be wonderful. Alright, so we can get some generators set up. Which gives me extra energy. That's not a bad idea at all, maybe. Alright, aliens detected. Another another thing I'm above. Our relic has provoked an ideological split among our citizens. Some believe the old Earth relic is instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Others think it represents a valuable repository of traditional wisdom that must be studied and displayed publicly if humanity is to embrace their new home. Um, extra culture from relics or no maintenance? I'm going to go ahead and get the, the culture. We are culture people, man. We got to go for that culture. Seven turns, we'll get another virtue. This is going pretty nice. Um, all right. Let's take a look. We just open up a bunch of options in this giant web. I haven't counted the technologies, but it does look like there might be more than in Civ 5. And they're also all new to me, so this is still very, very intimidating. Uh, let's see. Cognition. Oh, cool. You can build academies. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, physics. Any... I kind of would like to get to alien biology. That's going to take a very long time. Thorium reactor would be nice. Yeah, let's go with engineering and try to get our uh, energy production up a bit. Because we right now we're earning one energy every turn. And that's just not very much. So I'm going to try to, to fix that. Alright, aliens still hanging about. Don't really know why, but they're there. Wait a minute. We can now work the, uh... Alright, stop working this and start working that. Actually... Uh... Plantation, plantation... Plantation. Alright, let's just... Let's stop. Yep, there you go. Alright. A little bit of extra energy. Always welcome. I need my money. Six more turns. Our health is still looking pretty okay. It was... I'm pretty sure that at this point in my other game... It already went down. This is the last player that's arriving. All right, Paul Australia. Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, dude. All right, so that is the last player has now arrived. We can get a generator going, which will give us two extra energy if we work the tile, or one uh, food. So there's always options there to choose from. All right, there we go. Uh, we're just gonna hang around. Let's just hang around the uh, the African Union a bit. I want to see what those guys are up to. I don't, also don't really understand why their uh, city is only two population. That's uh, oh man, look at this. Yep, this should be fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. Those guys are gonna kill each other. 
There is no way that that will ever go well. Alright, go with that. Extra food. Also, I should probably get a trait route going with Akima Station. Alright, so we got some friendship going with the pin. Okay. Lolly Bella. Where are you? That is extremely interesting to me. Uh... Yeah, where'd they go? I wanna I wanna trade route with them for sure. Oh god, they're all the way over there. Okay, well that's just a giant massive bummer. They would give me a bunch of extra Okay, this is bad. Go back. They would give me a bunch of extra culture if I were to trade with them. Four culture per turn, which is pretty significant, but it will work because they're too far away. No. I don't want open borders. I don't know what open borders do. But it just seems like a bad idea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say no to this one. Next turns, get me that colonist. I'm pretty sure that re uh, not re well religion's gone, obviously. I believe t uh, tourism is gone as well. Interestingly enough, so maybe getting open borders with someone is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's see. A mysterious encrypted transmission was received from an unknown origin. After some considerable effort, it has been decoded. The clear text reads, The Culper Cell requires infrastructure for covert operations. Should you choose to accept, you will be rewarded in time. Alright, so it said research... Uh, computing. Which I don't even know if that's, like, available right now. It actually is, but that's gonna take a while. Um, but I'll get to it eventually, so... I'm... whatever, man. I see no need to hurry there. Yeah. I want to get to that resource pot. Oh, okay, it's gone. I just, okay, I just walked into my asthma for no reason at all. Uh, two fire exide, bunch of fungus, float stonies. I'll probably still go north. I have a feeling that Kima Station is about to disappear. Cohesive values. I'll be taking that. Because it's good. Uh, Alright, so I got, I filled this up. So now we got extra, 10% extra culture in every... City, if we get two more in the first, um, how do you even call that? The first row, I guess. Uh, we get, uh, Free Virtue. So I'll probably pick the opener for either, uh, Prosperity or Industry or something like that. Get my Free Virtue and then pick whatever. Or I'll just pick this one. And then, uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. No worries there. Either way, we have a lot of Virtues already, which I like. Here we go, alright. Still, aliens are not fighting me, but they are hanging out near me, which, I maybe that's good. Maybe they like me, maybe they hate me. Uh, could be terrible. Alright, so we built a colonist unit. We've completed construction of the necessary machinery. Search for an ideal location to build an outpost, preferably a location rich with food and resource, and send the colonists to that location. Once you arrive, set up the outpost. Well, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Alright, so that is the Slavic Federation. They are extremely close, as I just pointed out. And I'll send this guy up north. I could also go over here. But that would get me no fire excite. Well, if I just go here, somewhere like maybe probably over there, I'll get like 14. 14 fire excite. I would get some, um, if I go here, what? There's nothing out there. Well, there's some floatstone. Not bad. I might actually make a. Another city, maybe somewhere along this coast, and just... This would get me all the floatstone, and then also the xenomass, which would be good. But my first city, I want to get that far side because it could be... See, I don't know how rare this stuff is, but if it is rare, then obviously I want it, so... Just gonna grab it. Um, alright, Pharma Lab. Cyto Nursery. Uh, or Vivarium to grow quicker. Growth is, is not really an issue right now. I'll grab a trade convoy, first of all, just so I can trade with Hakima Station. Uh, just for that little culture boost. I hope they're not going to leave anytime soon. Um, although they might. Alright, here we go. Let's keep it going. Like, I'm, I'm fine with having them as neighbors. That That's totally cool with me. As long as they don't steal my, my Phyrexite. Then we cool. And they stay very small, I believe. They just stay like one small... 
thingy. All right, we got engineering. We can now get the thorium reactor I was talking about. We can now see titanium. And we can get a combat rover. Titanium. There does not seem to be any... Oh, actually, yep. We got seven titanium down there. And we got six up there. But not really any for me right now. All right, so I'll just set up my outpost right here. And because we did that, we get a free soldier. The outpost has been constructed and will soon grow into a full city. It's important to protect newly constructed outposts as they are vulnerable to attack. So, prosperity. They will start out as one little thing and they just start growing. Like here you'll see uh, they will grow in three turns. And once they do, they will get, gain one square. And once that entire thing is done, um, then you'll have a, a real full city. And that's what we're going for. All right, make that. Um, yep, let's keep running. Let's see where Brasilia is at. I want to map everything I can find. Uh, planetary survey, chemistry, computing will take way too long for me. Uh, let's see. I'll probably just go with one of the small techs like physics or chemistry. Petroleum, observatory... Ranger. I like chemistry, I think. I want to figure out if there's any petroleum around. I'll grab chemistry. Why not? It seems like a safe choice. And we'll just do that. Also, we could send a trade route to our new outpost if we would want to, but... Um, and that basically speeds up their, their growth. Which is cool, and I'm into it, but also I want to trade with, uh, with Hakima just to get that culture. Um, alright, keep walking. Ooh, look at that, gold. Alright, so gold actually gives you a bunch of culture. Which is really cool. There's still a little bug I noticed with the explorers. Like, they'll just start doing this. <laughs> they just keep running forever and ever. I don't really know what the point is there. But I have high hopes that they'll fix it. It, it is a bit strange, though. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. Alright, so this map is actually pretty big. And there's still a lot of room available for new cities. All right, keep running, man. Six floodstone. All right, so city has grown. Um, I don't like this tile at all. Why would you work that? This is better. 12 turns, like that's acceptable to me. Uh, hey, Kima Station, we can also trade with Prosperity to get that um, outpost growth rate. We can trade with uh, Krub Roast or Magan to get science and energy, but I like trading with Hakima Station. And having them grow as a result. And then also just extra culture. Which is good. We got five virtues right now. Another five. We got a free technology. Which is a pretty big deal, I'd say. Um, Alright, I'll start with the thorium reactor. Is that best? I just want to get some energy going. Yeah, I want to get some energy going. Because right now, my energy is still pretty terrible. My health is looking alright. I just made a new city, so... It looks acceptable to me. Is this just desert? Yes, it is. It's just a giant desert down there. Now I feel kind of bad for the Slavic Federation. Alright. Let's keep going. We got some basalt. We got some silica. A lot of stuff going around. Why are you... Oh, there's, he, they're in miasma. See, that's kind of the danger of miasma. Is that, to me, really, sometimes it's really tough to see that it's there. And as a result, your uh, units, like workers and stuff, will stand in it and do something like, say, make a mine. Which can take six turns. And in ten turns, you're dead. You know, so you can really get yourself hurt and killed by standing in miasma. So that's something... That I'm going to have to get used to. Because there's some around here. There's some right there. Some here. There's just a bunch of this stuff around. And it's it's stupid. But, um... What's ours okay. Is yours. For a price. Yes, please. Let's be buds, man. Golden Bell Temple. Alright, they're down there. That's pretty cool. We are right next to the, uh... Your ex yeah, I know, I know. Derelict Settlement are obviously making their own little thing down there. So the Golden Bell Temple, I would love to trade with them, but that obviously will not be happening because they are pretty far, I'd say. 
pretty far. Are you done yet? One more turn? Yep, so we got a little alliance going already. That this happened quickly. Is yours. No. Again, I see no reason to do this. Oh. Crashed satellite discovered. Alright, so we are going to need an explorer. Can I just buy one? No, do not. Alright, click. And purchase. Um, 200 energy. Yeah, that'll take a while. I'm not quite there yet. Um, did it just leave? There's two of them here. Holy... Okay. Uh, he's found value in the alien life, as we have. Alright, so maybe we can be buds. I would like it, because we're neighbors, so it would be good if we could just, you know, like each other. Chemistry done. Uh, let's just wait here for now. See if we can still claim that stuff. Prosperity is going to grow on two more turns. They're probably going to get... What they need two more tiles to grow into an actual city. 39. Um, just grab physics. Let's just grab all these starting uh, technologies around the, the middle. Which is five. Yep, it looks like computing is part of it, but it's not. It's a little confusing. We can also get planetary survey, which allows us to make uh, work barges. Which allows you to uh, improve stuff in water. And then also embark your units. So that's nice, but you know, physics is also pretty good and there's not really that much water around and we're playing on a sort of a Pangea map, so the water doesn't really play that big a role anyway. Um, something to think about. All right, let's see, we are working these tiles. All right, make a plantation here. Because we're actually working that tile, so maybe hit that up. Um, yeah, this one's this not that good, creative class. It leads to some pretty good ones, but Yeah, I don't I don't even know. Um Pioneer Spirit, also pretty good. Uh I think I might just go with five energy, production, 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 energy, extra health, trait root stuff. They're it's really good. A lot of a lot of culture here. I think I might just go with prosperity and just grab Okay, yeah. Uh just grab go to colony initiative, stuff like that, and also get this free virtue. So I'll pick this. Extra food, that's that's good. You know, I like extra food, but then I want to get that free virtue next time. Alright. Uh plantate me. Alright, aliens are still hanging around, still haven't done anything, so I'm still not really sure what's going on or what my place in the world is. So far, we haven't picked a an affinity yet, so no harmony for me. But that, I would like to get there. Uh, aliens detected. I wish there was a way to stop them from telling me that, because they keep telling me and it's bugging me. Because it's like every turn they tell me that there's aliens there, and I know. Because they, they refuse to leave. Um, all right, Pharma Lab, Laboratory. Pharma Lab is pretty good. I also like a Cyto Nursery because it combines science and health, and that also gives you some food for marshes. Which do we have marshes? Not really at all. How do I recognize a marsh? I'm not seeing any marshes around here. Desert. What? I'm not seeing any of them. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah, that looks an awful lot just like a, just like planes or something with miasma on it. Like this to me looks like a marsh, but it's not. And that is a marsh. All right, so that's a little confusing to me right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Saito Nursery. Because uh, I want to get that want to get that uh, health. Yep, we're best friends, man. That's so nice. Uh, Prosperity is about to become a real city. Aliens are still running about. Isn't that fun? The answer is no, it's not. It's annoying. Oh my, okay. 
I just lost a whole bunch of health. That's great. Recycler. Suggesting I start with a worker. I'm going to go ahead and start with a clinic. Clinics are just good. Seem like pretty solid uh, choices, so I'll do that. Wait, doesn't that belong to... Aren't you guys working that tile? Yes, you are. Now it's stolen. That's interesting. Um, I don't like it, though. Yeah. Um, sure. Let's let have them work it until they grow. And then they can start working something else. Uh, this should be fine, actually, because I got some energy from it. And I like that. Let's just keep it up. Far base one. All right, so that would provide me with energy and science. That's not bad, I guess. 13 turns left on the trait route with Hakima Station. And we might want to get another trait route to maybe... Let's see. The new city is an option. Or we could trade with... Um, Magan, which would also give me a lot of money and science. And it would also improve relations, because that's one thing that I did notice about this uh, game, is that trade routes actually do give you a nice boost to relations. Like, they actually, you know, come to you and say, hey, you know, it's so nice that we're trading now. We're going to be the best of friends. And just they just kind of go like that. Uh, all right. No village. Yes, please. Oh, man, that's sweet. All right, well, we're basically neighbors, so being friends would be quite nice. And now we are neighbors, because he's stealing land from either me or Slavic Federation. Either way, he's getting mixed into a situation where he probably shouldn't be. And for that very reason, I wasn't planning on actually going south, because that would probably piss someone off, so... Yeah. All right, our colonial grid is now powered by a thorium reactor. Already, its people have grown... Already? Its people have grown accustomed to its gentle hum and glow. So efficient is the reactor, it's barely working at capacity. If we pushed it further, we could divert the energy towards increased production speed, or we could use it to create new units and structures. Both would be of great benefit. So, we can get extra energy. Alright. I like the energy one, obviously. Have them give, you know, their energy building. So have them give more energy. That just makes sense to me. And then also, I just like energy. So, what you gonna do about that? No, uh, really. no. No, -uh, you just sell right next to me, man. That's rude. I don't like that at all. I don't, I still have, oh, guys, Siege Worm again. I hope it will not destroy my stuff. I would be very happy if it did not. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need you to start working that and just work this, I guess, and that. Not a lot of great foodie tiles around, but... Yeah, work it. Why would you not work that? That's, that's crazy. Alright, so we got four turns. Uh, let's see. Is there any way to get extra production? Um... I mean, not really. I mean, I don't think so. That is a bummer, because in about four turns we're going to grow, uh, which means that we will lose even more of our health, which is bad. We're already at negative one. We need to get that fixed. Also, we're, you know, we're making a clinic. We're making the cyto, cyto nursery. Physics? Got that physics. All right, next for me will be... I think I want to go with alien biology. Like, everything at this point will take quite a while until we make more science buildings. So I'm going to jump into alien biology and get our first uh, harmony affinity point. Because we kind of need it. Also, we get less culture and less science because we're unhealthy. Oh, here we go. Stable. What? The siege worm ate my worker. Gotta be kidding me. So I can shoot him, but that won't help me at all. So that is kind of a bummer. All right, let's just grab a laboratory. Work on that science, because it's quite low right now. Why is there an African soldier at my borders? I have not experienced war at all in this game yet. So it could be 
It could be really cool. Why? He's destroying all my improvements. He's being so rude right now. And then we also need to get a new worker. As soon as that thing's gone. Honestly, he's lucky I don't just blast him with my city. But I'm pretty sure that if you just don't fight the aliens, they like you a lot better. Which I can imagine, because that does make sense. I also like people better who do not fight me, so... It checks out. Alright, keep going. I feel like we should have more happiness, but we don't. Or health. Also, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the, the terminology in this game. Alright, health did not go down. Which I like. A lot. Just get me... Oh my god, we just we need workers. We need at least two workers, and I want some explorers as well. Uh, just so I can grab these things I feel like I was still... Yep, here you go. Still claiming the derelict settlements. You know, I want to I wanna unearth those, and there's another one of those up here, I believe? Oh, here we go. Yeah, right here. Crashed satellite. Like, we need to figure out what that is. Get expeditions going, because those also get me extra science. Um... So, in, in, you know, when it comes to that, it's actually really annoying that the Siege Worm just destroyed my worker and all of my stuff. Because now I have to make more workers and I have to make more explorers. Also, the Slavic Federation is starting to catch up with me. They just made their third city. Alright, aliens are still hanging about. Um, yeah, let's just start work on a worker. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase an explorer. Um, just so we can get some exploration going. And also, I would really, really, really like to unearth some of that stuff that's going on. Oh, Siege Worm's back. Ah, look at that. Crashed satellite right there. Alright, you know what? I'll just go straight for this one. Because I don't feel like wasting time. My instincts tell me, hey, let's shoot this guy because they're right in my face. But that's a terrible idea, so I won't do it. Um, trait with Hakima Station. They are a tier 2. It will improve to tier 3 when any player completes a trait route with the station, which gives them a lot more culture. So, the first trait route is finished, and now we are getting more stuff from them. Yes, we, we like aliens, and so do you. That doesn't mean we're best friends, okay? Your explorer has noticed something strange. Here we go. I know. That's what I was doing, you game. Alright, so we can grab Creative Class and then get Applied Aesthetics for free. Or... We could grab something like... Workforce Initiative, which is pretty good for me. And then get Homesteading for free, which I also like. So to spread my stuff around. I'll do that, yes. Or we could also go for this one for free. But I like the... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Homesteading for sure. Done with that. Got another free worker, which we desperately needed. Now let's get look at all these options. All right, Sato Nursery, Pharma Lab. Just just get me an old Earth relic. All right, get me that culture. And you, my friend, run away. All right, just run. Run away. Also, we still need to get a a, a road going. We got no road. No village. Gain favors. Alright, so if I give him 25 energy and one energy per turn and open borders he would give me a favor, which I'm not really sure what that means, but that's no sort of the new thing. By trade. I think no I'll just do it, just to try it out. By trade. Let's just see what happens. Like, I have a favor with him. What's ours is yours. No. I don't want open borders. Alright, keep it going, man. Five turns and we got it. This guy is sitting in my asthma. That is generally a terrible idea. All right, go. Go get some stuff going. The siege worm is back. I don't know why, but they keep bothering me, which isn't fun at all. Also, how much longer on the? Uh... All right, so in 22 turns, Akima Station will grow again, and I'm pretty sure they also change in like visually, which is pretty cool. I'm loving these uh, these little stations right now. I just wish that that one, like this one, should have been next to me. Just for that sweet culture, and I'm now missing it. 